Hey everybody, it's Jonathan with DroneAcademy.com. In our last tutorial, we introduced you to the FAA Drone Zone website and showed you how to set up an account and register your drones. And in this video, we're coming back to the Drone Zone, but this time we're gonna show you how to remove those drones from your Part 107 account. So let's get started. Whether you sold your drone, crashed it beyond repair, or it just flew away, there's lots of reasons why you would want to remove it from your account. So to get started, all we have to do is log in to our FAA Drone Zone account that we should have set up when we were registering all of our drones. Now keep in mind, this is only for those people who have their drones registered under Part 107. If you're a 336 hobbyist flyer, you're only going to have one registration for all your drones. But if you are part 107, when you log in, you should see your part 107 dashboard. And on that, you're gonna to wanna to go into your manage UAS inventory where you added your drones before. As you can see, we have one drone that is registered to this account. And we can start the removal by clicking on this menu button to the right. Now this is gonna give you a few options, but the one we're gonna to wanna to focus on is the cancel button. In this drop down, you can see they give you the multiple different reasons why you might be removing that aircraft from your account. Hopefully in your case, you're removing it because it was sold, not because it was stolen or destroyed. But whatever the reason, you can select that here. And if you just don't want to say, or if it's something that doesn't fit on the list, you can say it's unspecified. And that's what we're going to do here for this one. Since we've taken this test unit apart, and we're going to be reusing the components in another aircraft. And this checkbox at the bottom is just a reminder that this is a permanent step. So if you do go through and accidentally remove the wrong aircraft, you do have to repay to register it. So you may want to double check all the details one more time before you hit confirm. Once you've done that, that's it. You've canceled it. You can see now that it is canceled under the status, which means that aircraft is no longer registered to you. Once you go back to your inventory, you can actually go through to your part 107 dashboard and see here that in your inventory, it shows that you have one total UAS still on your account, but it is canceled. So you can see removing an aircraft from your account is pretty easy. And next time we're going to review the part 107 waiver request process and go through how to do that here on the FAA Drone Zone website. And as always, if you have any questions about this video or anything else you'd like to see us cover about drones, please let us know in the comments below. Or check us out on social media at DroneAcademy.com.